needs to rebuild my image before the, be rebuilding my life. So even this interview is something that adds a point on my path to reach the people and tell them, hey, I'm one of you. I'm, one, I'm a normal guy who passed through a nightmare. Now I'm different because of the nightmare I passed through, but I'm innocent. But the other person who was in that nightmare was Meredith Kircher and her family have said on a number of occasions that they're not happy with the amount of attention given to, to you and Amanda Knox. So don't you think it's a little insensitive to produce yet another documentary on the case? People never uh, understood the truth about this case. They, they never knew about us. So the victim is a Meredith Kircher, but there are other two victims who are alive. Forensic evidence. Selecito and Knox were initially convicted largely on the basis of DNA evidence that was later ruled to have been contaminated. But this kiss, whilst police searched the house, became a symbol of what the media described as their strange and suspicious behaviour after the killing. They just repeated that kiss hundreds of times to make it like it was a long kiss. It was just a kiss, it was a kiss of comfort because she was telling me that she, she felt lost. She felt with her family on the other side of the world and she didn't know what to do. Your relationship with Amanda has kind of been characterised in the media as her sometimes as being this kind of femme fatale, this very dominant character uh, and you being more quiet and kind of just going along with her. No, I never did something like that in my life and even Amanda is not. So I, wa I was very, uh, I was very um, in love with her. Uh, even after a few days, uh, I was very attached to her because I found her uh, good, very good to me. But really, that is, uh, that is really uh, ridiculous. It's so it would be really stupid to to think about that. You mean to be loyal to to have some kind of misplaced loyalty to someone just because you you love them to to to, to kind yeah. of yeah yeah it's it's so ridiculous. After five days, I didn't know her, so why I should be loyal to her? What's the reason why? This man, Rudy Another man, Rudy Guede, was convicted of the murder, but some still claim others were involved too. Selecito says legal fees cost his family over a million dollars and they still owe hundreds of thousands. He wants compensation for his debts. He's not ready to let go of the past. They want to forget it. The prosecution want to forget it because they, they bring the shame on it. They have something to cover. I have nothing to cover. So I will bring it until, uh, until the, the, the truth about what they did as mistakes that doesn't come out. What's your relationship with Amanda now? Do you still talk to her? Yeah, we are in a good relationship. We just, uh, we, don't, we don't talk too much because we are very distant and we, we are caring about our lives. So there's, no, there's nothing to say about that really. So what, how often would you talk to her? I don't know, once a year. You had your entire life turned upside down by something that you had no control over. What, if anything, has that experience taught you? You have no power on your life. You have only the power on your decisions. You can make decisions each time and each decision can bring you in a path or in the other. But it's always a sliding door. You never ever you never ever end it until until you your life is gone. I don't think about my future in my life anymore since years. Really? I don't. But what do you think about that? I just think about here to what I have to do next month. For me, whatever happens after next month, even the world can be destroyed, but I didn't think about next year or anything.